Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Ola. So today we're gonna talk about Atsol and the Kabari system. Now, first off, we're gonna talk about the far range. Now, with far range Escobari against Atsol, there's only two things that he's gonna do. One of them is Rainwater, and the other one is Down Heavy. So with Rainwater, if you do it, if you do a Escobari from long range, you're not gonna connect your Far Slash. Wow, that's that actually connected. Wow, that never that never happens in, in a match. Who your Escobar from far range, you try to press far slash, it never works, right? So, what would you do for on terrain axles far range? Um, rainwater would probably be um, committing with jump forward JS. Right, so that way, you know. Right, so that way you you get a combo and you get Oki and stuff like that. Right, now they have a chance to press a button, but in all honesty, you can just beat this also. You can you can literally just beat this with far slash, but that's the that's the tricky part about that, right? Because one, you don't know when rainwater is going to come out, and two, you don't know when they're going to press down heavy, right? So now you got to condition your opponent, because if they if they do rainwater for the first time with your Escobari, then they're going to switch it up and do down heavy, right? Like, it's pretty much a waiting game, and that's why I love this system for a Viking, because it can punish you for whatever choice you make. But you gotta react in time, right? Now, close range Escobari now is a bit different because now you gotta face Axel with his um, low profile 2K, which is probably one of the best 2Ks in a game free, right? So now we kind of have a problem, right? With close up, with close range Escobari. If I can, because now if you want to bait a grab, right? If you want to bait, if you want to bait a grab and you bat dash, you're still gonna get clipped by Axel's 2K. Now you can delay your your bat dash for the 2K to miss, but the problem is, is that in a real match, you're not you're not gonna to do a big delay for your bat dash because then he can just press a different button, or he can just grab you because grab is literally just two frames. Right, so that's that's where it gets tricky. Now, now once you're like not in range of grab, now your two best buttons is by P and 2K. Right, like those are your two best buttons. Right, as you know, because you can't use close slash because. Access 2K is gonna hit you also, and then it's gonna it's gonna trade, right? So he got that out the way. Now let's say you do close range, Escobari, and Axel does Rainwater. Um, with this one, it's a lot more options to punish Axel. It was only two. You can add three because of uh, Jump Dust, but in all honesty. Um, And you know, honestly, it's only it's only two, right? You can you can do J dust. You just you just wanna do J S, right? Because if J S and punishing rainwater from close up is that you don't have to commit to jump forward, right? You don't you don't have to commit. You could just just jump, right? You can just jump. Right, and even if they don't do rainwater and and you jump, you can just go hold back and and block after, right? Because if they if they don't do anything, then they're gonna try and go for a six p, right? So you you don't have to commit. So um so yeah, and the next one is pro is your sensing. right? So those are your three options, um. The last two is the is the is the better ones. All right, now playing patient, right? And then they they jump, they do a double jump, and then they do 
um, heavy, right? Because the heavy is pretty much uh, disjointed, right? So your your best option is pretty much JK. Um, you don't even you don't you don't even need to do it immediately because most assholes they don't do jump heavy immediately, right? They just they just double jump and wait a little bit and then do it, right? So you, you just need to time your your JK and then pretty much that's it, right? And that's it, pretty much. Um, those are the things that Axel does whenever you kabar him. Um, put it in the system, try it out, practice it, lab it, and stuff like that. Um, is there anything else what Axel does um, when he's in kabari? Um, you can say it's super, but honestly, like, that's so easy to bait. That's, that's pretty easy to bait. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Right, because when you when you really think about it, at so players they, they don't do um at so bomber when they when they jump and do it. So it's pretty easy to know like what they're gonna do. They might do um the the, the jump kick thing. I don't I don't know if it's jump dust, but they would do that sometimes. But most of the time, if they do that, it's only because when like you're not moving or nothing like that. That's, that's the only time like when like when they're they're gonna do that. But most of the time they're gonna do jump heavy and try and clip you for doing anything. Like jumping or pressing a button. Right? So anyway guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all for watching and being here. And anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one, which will be chip. Alright, that one I'm pretty sure a lot of Vikings got a problem with chip because you know he's su he's super fast. So I'm definitely gonna cover him next. And yeah, anyway guys, that's gonna be it. Have a good one. Peace.